We are back with Mark Iacona, the executive director and co-producer for the CGI Rochester International Jazz Festival and the president of Simcona Electronics as well. Great to have you back in studio. Great to be back. Uh, so here we go. What's new this year? Uh, beyond the CGI component, uh, which is certainly new this year, what else is new? Sure, yeah, we're excited to have CGI as a, a new title sponsor and all the other sponsors that make this, this festival happen. Uh, we have a couple great new venues. Uh, we're back at Parcel 5, not only for the last weekend for the live open air shows, which everybody's looking forward to hearing Trombone Shorty. So the other new venue that we have is Jiva Theater. That's two venues in one, Fielding Stage and Wilson Stage. Those are staggered times, club pass venues, so you can come in. Uh, there's going to be food and drink that's there as well. So we're really excited to have both these venues, three new venues for us that are all within walking distance of the festival. So we're really excited about it. So when you say three, you're talking about the two at Jiva and then Parcel 5 as yes. well. Uh, and we should clarify, June 21st through the 29th this year are the dates for, for the Jazz Festival. Uh, so people watching have one s standard question. How do I make the most of my experience? What's the best way to engage? Yeah, I, you know what I would do first, if, if you've never been to the festival, talk to some people that have. Um, look what's in your iPod or on your iPhone and your smartphone, the music that you listen to. Then go to our website. Um, there's a high end of all you can listen to quality music, different genres of jazz and yeah. also R&B and rock and, and funk, that type of thing. But I would actually try to measure it up to your taste, but talk to people that have gone to it so they can kind of give you the lay of the land. We have great... Uh, uh, you know, questions, answers on our website uh, that we can answer where to go and how to get around. But really, those venues, those club pass venues, have a theme to them. And uh, the best thing I would do is, is talk to some people. Um, uh, you can actually go to our website. You can download some of the audio files and see what your taste is. There's something about the music, of course. There's something about the atmosphere that you've created through this festival over the last you know, 20 years now, that really sets it apart, doesn't it? Yeah, and, and we're blessed. We have a, we have a great community, uh, an arts-educated community, but also now the businesses uh, are starting to utilize it as business-to-business -business opportunities after work. So not just for entertainment personally, but they're bringing people in from out of town, mm -hmm. uh, co-workers, employees. So that vibe that has been created, uh, we're part of it, but really it's the community and the organizations that have really made this thing gel. I mean, you know, and that's sort of the, the why Rochester component of these conversations conversations is is that sort of at the heart of it that people around here get it they've embraced it and that's what makes it such a great place to stage this kind of an event yeah all the way from our sponsors to the people that purchase the club passes months in advance before we announce a lineup that's confidence yeah I really think it's what they come to expect we're not perfect you're not gonna love all the music but there's so much program music that is is quality that people really are saying to themselves I'm gonna keep buying this pass because I keep getting what I expect to hear so people talk about that and then what's happened like I told you is now companies are buying blocks of tickets for headliners buying club passes which are now shareable mm -hmm. uh, and it just seems to work for them from an entertainment standpoint well good luck this year we are obviously looking forward to it, it should be another great run in Rochester thanks Mark thanks Mark hey uh, your opportunity to learn more online it's as easy as going to Rochester jazz.com for the CGI Rochester International Jazz Festival again coming up starting this Friday. If you missed any of our conversation as always we're sharing it online at rochesterfirst.com.